Hello everybody, this is me, Sam here on Time for Move Gaming, and today we're going to be showing you the Chess Commands plugin full bucket by Philogost. So Dan, what does this plugin do? Well, Chess Commands is a plugin with multiple features. It has multiple menus, each one with a name, a command to open, and a configurable item. You can open menus by right-clicking or left-clicking with an item, which is also configurable. Uh, using placeholders that are replaced by cool symbols. I like cool symbols. <laughs> they are cool. You can configure name, description, commands for each item in the chest using colors and formatting codes and loads of other features. So uh, let's get a start. Let's start. So you just need a book and right click and that will bring up chess commands. Oh yeah. So first of all there's uh, what, four things. First thing is the plugin website. You can just click that to get the plugin website. That's not really interesting I guess. Um, but there's a plugin tutorial here. So we can just go over this and uh, this will just tell you and teach you how to use chess commands. So we're going to do a video on a tutorial. <laughs> um, okay, so you've got here all the information. So what does it do? It allows, basically allows you to make GUIs for things like menus. You can have shops and all sorts of things. And a sort of GUI interface with the uh, chests. Uh, there are permission nodes there. Um, obviously you've got about menus and whatnot. And uh, we can't actually read half of this. But it gives you some information and background about the uh, the uh, the plugin, and if you want to know all the uh, symbols and stuff, like the cool symbols you said earlier, we can use them here mm. uh, in like the titles of things. But um, let's go over the example menu just to explain a few things about it. So this is the example menu. This is the sort of things you can add to your uh, well, menus, I guess. And all this is all done via the uh, config. Um, so you have a config where you define what things in the menu. So for instance here the first thing is slash spawn and that will just run the command slash spawn. And we don't actually have any plugin that uses spawn but that would run the command. So if I clicked it for instance it says unknown command. But that's because we don't have any <laughs> slash spawn. Anyway so let's go on the next one. You can see here this is just an information sort of about item, the formatting codes. So you can see the colors, uh, the ran and the bold. You can use those in there. Uh, this is ones from your console, so you can have commands. This is the command from the player, mm. and this is a command from the console, so this is slash say. So that will say hello, Sam, here. Oh, hello, hello sir. Yeah. So you can use, um, so you can set commands from the console and the player. Um, and this is also the same, similar thing, uh, but it runs it as op. So you can run commands from players, ops, and consoles. Uh, the next one is just a sort of a message thing. Um, so this will provide a message. You right click that. Yeah, it, gives you it sends the amount of players online, sends your name, sub of world you are, and the money you have. Yeah, so you can, you don't have to have sort of parameters like we have here with like the name and the, the money and stuff. You can just have like as an information sort of thing. So you can mm. click it and it will provide like a, maybe like a quest or something like that you can do. Uh, economy and give command. Um, so this will give you uh, we'll give 50 if you have it, <laughs> which I don't, uh, and this will take 50, uh, provided you have a gold ing ingot. So this is like a sort of buying and selling. So if I get a gold ingot, and then I click her, well, this is basically the sell, and it will give me $50. Uh, what else we can do? is the same thing, so this will give me a uh, gold ingot in return for $50. So that's basically buying and selling. So you can have this as a sort of shop as well. I know we covered Boss Shop, which is uh, another GUI. It's rather similar, but right. this one has, I'd say, probably quite a lot of possibilities. Yeah, I mean, the other, everything. The other uh, Boss Shop does have commands and stuff as well, so they are very similar in a way. But this is just another showcase, I guess. Yeah. Uh, info. Oops. Uh, so that just doesn't do anything. You can have items which don't do anything. It's just literally just for a show like this one here. Displaying information, but it just won't close when you click on it. Yeah, so that's like in the menu. Uh, tells you something. So this is a simple message without using commands. So I, you can probably edit that in config for a basic message. So it could be like, I don't know, a shop's message of the day or something. Yeah, exactly. Uh, also multiple commands. Like here, for instance, we've, we've broadcast the server twice. Did you know that you can and then the other one. So you can do multiple commands uh, as well. Uh, permissions test as well. So if you click that, it just checks to see if you have permission to do oh, so. So you've got a little tick there. Yeah, so see, you can you can use all the, use all the uh, codes that we saw before. 
Mm. These ones here, like the heart, the stars, and that uses the tick. So you can use those uh, when you're designing it. Uh, so you also give items. So obviously with buying and selling, you can just set the price to zero, um, and you can uh, well, sell one of these for free, and that's basically given items. You right there? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's carry uh, on. Carry on. <laughs> and then obviously you got clothes as well, and also back using the leather star here as well. Oh, uh, okay. So that's like a sort of example menu you can give uh, your players. You can set them up in the config. You can maybe mm -hmm. set up a shop or like basic information or like that sort of thing. And maybe you've got like a mini game server. You can have all the the uh, the portals and the teleports, and the yeah. warps. You can set that all up there. That's quite handy. So um, uh, the next thing next is uh, the admin console. So I'm, this is just for all of your basic admin commands. Yeah. So, so well, you want do you want to explain, explain some of this? Well, uh, yeah, go on then. So we've got some dye here. So if we click these, we can either change the weather. And I know Sam loves it when it's raining in Minecraft. Oh, so yeah. It's so let's, good. There we are. Okay, so Sam loves the rain. I mean, it's horrible. It's horrible. So I mean, if we want to change this really quickly, let's just change it back to sunny. How long is it going to take? Uh, it takes a couple of seconds. Okay, there we are. There you go. It doesn't help that we showcase the rain in a desert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it should have fallen free, really. I, I, I um, caught it, caught it in the rain. So we could have some really useful admin commands that you could obviously have the weather there's some time ones here so we can set yeah. it to day so instead of just typing stuff in we can just click yeah yeah we can set it to night which is very handy it's very handy yeah and of course you can actually choose what um uh item you have here so it doesn't have to be a clock it could be like a a head of some sort as well yeah but yeah obviously it's helpful if you have a chronograph as a time set so you can have relations and stuff I could presume it could be any command you want as well. Yeah, any I'm command. Guessing. So. Yeah, so you could have a for like you could have like a mod console, an admin console for like different groups on your server. Yeah, definitely could. And yeah. there's a here's my favorite one. Give myself a stack of sixty four diamonds. <laughs> That's always good. Yeah. And this is an interesting one. This gives you a potion effects. Oh um, wow! For so it does. A certain amount of time, nausea. It's not really. So it's just a fun one, I guess. Why are you spitting out loads of diamonds? <laughs> Let's go somewhere. We can turn that off with the uh, clear potion effect command as well. Also in the menu. Um, well, oh, you can have a list of online players as well. Yeah. There's some quite useful default commands, but yeah. this plugin really shines, I guess, when players add their own commands. Yeah. And the uh, the easy GUI. Yeah. So yeah, you obviously you can configure it how you need, and it will work with other plugins and other. Um, you know, if you've got plugins that use console commands, then you can integrate it with this mm. in order to do it. And finally, we have a shop. So at the top, we have all the uh, the buying, and all the uh, bottom, we have all the selling. So this is a oh, good I see. example. Yeah. Um, yeah. All these glasses in the middle are sort of uh, an info sort of item, so you can't actually get them. Well, I can't. So you can, you can click on them, but they just don't do anything. Yeah. And then, obviously, you can see all the things. So if I uh, buy a bow, I don't have enough money. So what can we sell? Can we let's, uh, let's, sell? Get, let's get loads of dirt. Let's get loads of dirt. So I dirt 64. I dirt 2,000. Fill up my 2,000, oh yeah, it's for your entire inventory for <laughs> dirt. So that's, that's my favourite thing to do. All of them? No, anyway, okay, so I've got $5. What can I buy for $5? You I can buy an apple. It. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> nice. What, um, what have I got? So that's money. I can see I got 155. It's quite handy. I've been able to have the slash money thing here, I think. Oh, yeah, exactly definitely. You've got, uh, what can I buy? I've got 155, my diamond, and uh, some cake. Yeah, so, having a little gem full of the money is... is yeah. Oh, cake! I'm just going to have to eat all of this. <laughs> I'm not hungry. Okay, I'm just going to destroy it so you can't have it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Cheers for that. you going to have to sell 2,000 dirt again. Yeah. <laughs> I've got 16 left. <laughs> you can only sell it a sex of 64. Okay, so that gives you a nice overview, I guess, of all the things. So obviously it's really good to uh, integrate with other things. You can customise the sort of uh, uh, the things you have, the items, the enchantments, that sort of thing. I believe there's actually also a way you can have like sort of menus uh, on signs. So what ones we choose? Let's choose the uh, the shop, I believe. Yeah, the shop's a good So one. I think on the first line you have menu. Uh, and then the second line is the chosen menu. So it's the shop that why mail fact exists. Oh, so, well, um, I think tutorial that why mail exists. 
Uh, so do that menu again. Obviously, that's to match your config.yml. So if you have one called shop.yml, it'll work. Uh, I'm not sure entirely what the uh, maybe they're lowercase. I can't actually see. Well, maybe I can. I'll have a quick look. <laughs> Why not? Eh? You can see quite quickly. Plugins, just commands, menu. Oh, okay. So they're called. Well, let's just use a simple shop one. So on the top line, menu, we go in square brackets, and then simple hyphen shop. This is one of the default ones. There we go. And we right click that. It brings up the uh, the shop as well. Instead of using the book and then going through it. There you go. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, this would be quite good for spawn, just having it like signs yeah. around. You wouldn't have to require an item there. The item is configurable. So yeah. maybe you can make it a really difficult item to get. Maybe. Or you, you could have it just so the player has it on spawn, yeah. just so they can access the shop whenever yeah. they can. So th instead of setting up an entire shop with items everywhere, you could yeah. just, just have the sign and then just have mm. a GUI. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that would be a lot easier. Okay, so anything else you'd like to add? Oh, no, that's it. I really like the GUI aspect. Um, my favourite thing is probably like having a little admin section and a mod section. Yeah. Or even a VIP section, you know, it's just the list of commands for people who have donated to the server. Yeah. Very uh, handy. Hmm. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. This has been me, Sam Kieran Time for Group Gaming, signing out. See you later.